fellow classmate, my name is Mim. Very uh, happy to see you guys here. Uh, I'm gonna change the topic a little bit. I'm teaching my class, and today we're gonna learn about fractions. What is fractions? So in fourth grade, you learn that you only learn fraction about positive. So here's a diagram of fraction. Here's a um, kind of way to make you uh, know better about fractions and remember them easier. So for example, you have a pi. Then you divide it into two parts equally. These two part, this part is one half. This is the most simple fraction in the entire fraction game. When you divide it into four parts, this part is one fourth. And when you divide it even further, this is one eighth. One eighth. Okay, so these are called fractions. So fractions is a, a part from one singular entity. Or it couldn't. It doesn't need to be an entity. It can be anything. Mm. So today we're gonna learn how to simplify fractions, both integers and uh, positive and negative, and also zero. So first, how do? You, what is simplifying fraction? So simplifying fraction is a uh, making the fraction look simpler by but not changing the value of the fractions. So here you have one, one, one half, okay? This is the, this fraction cannot be simplified anymore. So we call it uh, unsimplified fractions. But watch here. This is a rectangle, right? It's a rectangle divided into two parts. Now this is one, one half. And you divide even further. Do this, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. This uh, part is equal to this, so it's equal to three six. So how do you simplify a fraction? So first, here's what you have to do. This is equal to divide it, uh, turn the fractions into its prime factors. So 3 is equal to 1 times 3, and 6 is equal to 2 times 3. Then, you see both 3 is on the line, so you cancel them out. It's called common factors. And to do that, you just need to draw a line like this. And you got the same result here. Now, if I do something more complicated, uh, uh, let me simplify 30 over 45. Now, how do you simplify this fraction? So you do it la. You do the same step as this, same thing as this one. So thirty uh, into this prime factor is five times six, but six can also be written into two times three. So it's no more six. Which is a need to do the two times three. Forty-five is equal to five times nine. Nine is can be split into three times three. You see, there is three here, three here, cancel them out. And there's a five here. We can't leave the fraction like this. The fraction has to be more uh, simplified. Can't leave it like this. So the six here is equal to two times three, so you don't have to care about that. Don't have to care about that. This is equal to two over three. And that's exactly what it does. So, if you try to make it the same as this, you just need to time 15, both of them. Do this, and it's equal to 30 over 45. And that's the exact same number, same fraction as you have before. Now, what about the integers? So, remember, the negative number. So, this, what is it equal to? Is it equal to this, or is it equal to this? Now it's time to pause the video to think. I'll leave you five seconds.
All right, it's been five seconds. And the answer here is they are all equal to each other. Why? Remember, this is a pie, okay? If you try to take, if this pie is divided into 45 parts, if you take away minus 30 parts, then you're just adding 30 more parts into the pie. If you have uh, a pie, uh, uh, if you have a negative pie, then you take away 30 parts. That means you're adding to this pie your parts. This is the same too. So yeah, this answer the thing. So, how to simplify a part negative fraction. So, you do the same, but if you have this, you just need to split this into two. You can split it into five times six, which is minus five times two times three over five times three times three. And this, um, well, you can write this into minus one times five and you have two two fives here you can do this oh no this this doesn't have common factor do this now you have minus one and three and another two so this is equal to minus two third if you want to make it the same number again just do this do the same thing as you have from last time. 15. And this will be equal to minus 30 over 45. That's exactly how you simplify fractions. So, most people would ask, does this make anything, does this make things simpler? Well, if it doesn't make things simpler, why would you do it? Imagine you have a sandwich and your friends once 27 over 54 of the sandwich. Then you could just simplify the fraction into one, one half. Then you can divide the sandwich uh, a lot easier. So that's what uh, simplifying fraction is about. It's about simpler, simplifying the, uh, to make it easier to count. Like when you have this, 27 over 54, plus it with 3 over 27. How do you do this? Well, you just need to simplify the entire fraction. Or, this is equal to this divided by 2. So you can just divide both of this and this by 2, which is equal to... Actually, have to times 2 with this, because this can be divided. This is not divisible by 2, okay? 27 over 54 plus 6 over 54 is 3, 33 over 54. This is uh, divisible by 3, okay? Divisible by 3. So it's equal to 11 over 1, 8. And this is the exact number you will get when you try to do this. This is the harder way to do it. Have a simpler way. Well, you have to take it all to 18, so it's still more complicated, okay? Anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!